This is Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly, bringing you daily unique and interesting entertainment, celebrity, and luxury news. Before we get started, you know what to do. Like, follow, and subscribe to Red Carpet Fly, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single News on the Fly episode. Last Sunday was the Grammys, so first and foremost, I want to congratulate all the winners. The Grammys is always a fun award show, and I didn't watch the Grammys, but I did see some of the highlights, and there were some interesting fashion choices walking on the red carpet. To hear my review on some of the red carpet fashion Fashion, check out my Grammys 2022 red carpet review here on YouTube and TikTok. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get into some more headlines. Jim Carrey, fairly serious about retiring after his latest film. The comic actor Jim Carrey said he's fairly serious about retiring after his latest film in an interview. According to The Guardian, the actor, best known for leading roles in films including Bruce Almighty, The Mask, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas, said his current reprisal of Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 would probably be his last. Well, I'm retiring. Yeah, probably. And I'm being fairly serious. The 60-year-old actor told Access Hollywood, It depends. If the angels bring some sort of script that's written in gold ink that says to me it's going to be really important for people to see, I might continue down the road, but I'm taking a break. He added, I really like my quiet life, and I really like putting paint on a canvas. I really love my spiritual life, and I feel like, and this is something you might never hear another celebrity say as long as time exists, I have enough. I've done enough. I am enough. His response was in an answer to a question about starring in a film about Dolly Parton's life after the country singer said she would like him to play her one-time musical partner, Porter Wagner. Carrie had previously taken long breaks from acting in major films. Before appearing in the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie in 2020, he had a four-year break from acting since appearing in Dark Crimes and Bad Batch in 2016. The news comes in a week when Carrie said he was sickened by the Oscars standing ovation for Will Smith, who had won the award for Best Actor for King Richard, on the same night that Smith had hit host Chris Rock for making a joke about his wife Jada's alopecia. Okay, what do you guys think about this? Are you ready to see Jim Carrey retire? My honest opinion is I believe all of this retirement talk is in response to old videos resurfacing about Jim Carrey's bad behavior at award shows. He went all in on Will Smith's behavior and now the people of the internet have done some digging and found that his award show reputation isn't so squeaky clean. So I think he's just tired of the industry and not so much the acting. Hollywood is full of politics and it just comes with the territory of being famous and trying to keep up with that game can be exhausting. So my prediction is, if anything, Jim Carrey will probably go on another long break. And he should. Like he said, he has enough. He has enough money, he has enough fame, etc. If I were him, I would make one movie every four or five years and have another venture to subsist on. That way I don't get burned out from acting and it's still an art form that I enjoy rather than having to rely on acting to pay my bills and hating my craft. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. This new airline is exclusive to content creators and influencers. With flowing champagne and gourmet desserts, its first stop will be a free flight to Coachella. The world belongs to influencers and content creators. Proof of this lies in Willa, an online payments company that has launched an airline called Willa Air. Gone are the days when influencers were offered airline lounge or seat upgrades, especially with a dedicated particular airline for the ever-expanding vocation that exists. Come to think of it, the idea is as novel as the occupation itself. Never before has there been an airline for even doctors who help save lives. Fine tech platform Willa identifies the urgent need for influencers to cover events around the globe and click selfies. According to this Luxury Launches article, the inaugural travel route will take TikTokers and social media experts from Los Angeles to the social media mecca Coachella. With an airline at their disposal, it is only expected that these social media giants will be treated like royalty from the word go. Not only will they be picked up from their pads and dropped off at the entrance of Coachella, but their journey will also be replete with pamperings like pre-festival champagne breakfast and post-festival recovery IV drips. 
paper reported, we launched Willa Air to provide super fast and convenient travel for the content creator who are jetting off to events across the US. Naturally, we are launching during this huge creator-fueled weekend in Coachella Valley, one of the biggest influencer events of the year. Willa co-founder and chief marketing officer, Aaron Levin, said in a statement. He added, Willa was founded with the mission of helping creators, and quick, seamless travel is one of the many ways we are supporting our audience. While an influencer-only airline seems outlandish, we can unquestionably imagine what the experience will be like. Well, this article failed to mention how creators can get involved with the airline. I'm a creator. I want to go to Coachella. I have heard of creator-sponsored events, but a dedicated airline takes the cake. This just further confirms to me people's insatiable need to be entertained, which is crazy. It's almost as necessary as food. No matter how stupid the content is, someone will be watching because people need to be entertained. Content creating is a tough job and a full-time job from strategizing and planning content to actually shooting and then editing and monetization is a whole nother monster. So while this airline sounds a bit silly, I'm not mad at it. And I'm of the belief if you want me to keep putting out engaging content, help me by paying me or providing some type of assistance so that I can keep creating because being a content creator isn't easy. What do you guys think about this influencer airline? Is Willa doing the most? Comment below. Sip champagne at the edge of space. Just for $50,000, this balloon space aircraft will take passengers on a 12 hour journey to space. It's not every day that Earthlings gaze at the stars from a unique perspective, aka the edge of the Earth. A few years ago, going on a trip to space in a balloon spacecraft, sipping champagne and enjoying the celestial views would seem nothing but unreal. Going to outer space was never recreational up until now. Turning dreams into a reality is stratospheric exploration company Worldview. The company has revealed a full-scale model of the innovative spacecraft that will seat up to eight passengers and two crew members. The hexagonal shaped pods are equipped with climate-controlled pressurized environment. According to the Luxury Launches article, to maximize your experience in the stratosphere, the pod sports large elliptical windows measuring 6.5 feet wide by 4.5 feet high, offering impressive views of the Earth's curvature and its natural wonders. The reclined seats keep passengers comfortable while enjoying the revelation of the exciting line of sight. Other onboard amenities include a cocktail table, geographical user interface, central console, personal storage, and beverage holder. Business Wire reports, unveiling our space capsule prototype is a pivotal moment for the company as we prepare for our first launch from the Grand Canyon in just two short years, said Ryan Hartman, President and Chief Executive Officer of Worldview. We are thrilled to partner with leaders in aerospace design and engineering to bring our vision to life and ensure space flight participants enjoy a truly transformative experience. Worldview Space Tourism Program begins launching commercial flights in 2024 for 50,000 per seat. Space tourism is becoming a big thing. I feel like it's a very sci-fi-ish type venture. Like I've seen several movies that talk about space tourism, so it's weird to see that it's becoming a reality. Would you guys travel to the edge of space if you could afford it? I would. I would use this type of a trip as an anniversary gift or something like that. Well, that's it for Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share our YouTube channel, Red Carpet Fly. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Red Carpet Fly. And until tomorrow, always stay fly.